Good day, mga mahal, my fellow God's beloved. It's a wonderful day today. Hallelujah. Look at the sky, so blue. The clouds, so white. God, thank you for all your beautiful creation and that beautiful flowers as well. Oh, <laughs> tree, uh, buildings tall, trees so green and uh, beautiful, the color of life. Hallelujah. And look at that cross, the mighty cross there. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Because of what you did on the cross for us, we are saved. God, thank you for dying on the cross for our sins. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, God. We praise you, Lord. We glorify your Father and we magnify you, Lord. You are worthy of glory and honor and praise, Father God. Hallelujah. Thank you. Uh, come mga mahal, let's continue on reading God's word here in my beautiful room, <laughs> my dwelling place. Thank you God, hallelujah. And uh, I am listening worship songs which I recorded. <laughs> yes, that's from God's love song and also from God's love letter. <laughs> Oh, yes, God. Thank you, Lord, for your love. Hmm. There is no place I would rather be. My heart is glad as you call me your own. And look at my little fish and tutties. They are swimming here in this bigger <laughs> swim pool. <laughs> swimming pool for them. Uh, my purple stones, white and green, beautiful. Thank you, Lord. All is beautiful. They are, they were here last night in their jar to sleep, but then now I let them swim here. They had their breakfast already. So as my little birds as well. They had their breakfast early this morning. They came and had their breakfast. My little birds, the yellow, greeny, and tweety came earlier on. And since everyone had their own breakfast now, I will continue to read God's love letter. <laughs> and um, I also made this uh, energy bar made of nuts and oatmeal. And also the smoothie and I will have some glass of water later on after I had this uh, after I have this uh, breakfast hallelujah but of course above all or above above all I have to eat God's word first yesterday we got the Lord mentioned here that Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Yesterday in our reading, the Lord mentioned here too. Where, where was it? Oh, here. <laughs> um, thank you, Lord. Here. See how important God's word is. The, the Lord said, but the Lord said, he, but he said, more than that, blessed are those who hear the word of God and keep it. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Father. And so it is so important for us to always have God's word every day, right? <laughs> Amen. Because it says here for the kingdom of God is not just eating and drinking, but righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Romans chapter 14, verse 7. And Jesus himself said that it is written that man should not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, precious Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes, God, you call me your own. Amen. I'd rather be in your arms of love. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> okay. Let's continue on reading God's word now. 
Hallelujah. Father God, as we continue to read your word again today, help us to understand, Father. Give us, Lord, thy spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of you, O Father, as we continue to read your word. In Jesus' mighty name, the name of all names we pray. Amen and Amen. Thank you, Father. Now we will be continue on reading, keeping a sign. Hallelujah. Seeking a sign. This is in Luke chapter 11, verse 29. And while the crowds were thickly gathered together, he began to say, This is an evil generation. It seeks a sign, and no sign will be given to it except the sign of Juna the prophet. As and for as Juna became a sign to the Ninevites, so also the Son of Man will be this generation. The Queen of the South will rise up in the judgment with the men of this generation and condemn them for shaking, for shaking from the ends of the earth to hear the wisdom of Solomon. Wow, this is so beautiful. <laughs> the queen of the south. And to hear the wisdom of Solomon. And indeed, a greater than Solomon is here. Wow, what a revelation. So powerful revelation. And you know what? Who is the... <laughs> And now, thank you, Lord, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus, oh God. And indeed, a greater than Solomon is here. And of course, no other than Jesus himself talking. <laughs> oh, thank you, Lord Jesus, hallelujah. Let's carry on reading. You may read again because you will, God will reveal to you and me as we continue to read his word and in verse 32 it says that the men of Nineveh will rise up in the judgment with this generation and condemn it but and then for they repented at the preaching of Juna and indeed a greater than Juna is here wow it's the Lord Jesus may you be Receive the revelation that comes from God by the power of the Holy Spirit. It is the Lord Jesus with us right now. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Let's carry on reading. In the lamp of the body. No one then, he has lit a lamp, puts it in a secret place or under a basket, but on a lampstand that those who come in may see the light. The lamp of the body is the eye. Therefore, when your eyes is good, your whole body also is full of light. But when your eye is bad, your body also is full of darkness. Therefore, take heed that the light which is in you is not darkness. If then your whole body is full of light, Having no part dark, the whole body is be full of light, as when the bright shining of a lamp gives you light. Wow, thank you, Lord. Word to the Pharisees and lawyers. And as he spoke, a certain Pharisee asked him to dine with him. So he went in and sat down to eat. When the Pharisees saw it, he marveled that he had not first watch, washed before dinner. And the Lord said to him, Now, you Pharisees, make the outside of the cup and dish clean, but your inward part is full of greed and wickedness. Foolish ones! Did not he who made the outside make the inside also? Mm. But rather give alms, of such things as you have, then indeed all things are clean to you. But woe to you, Pharisees, for your tithe meant and rue and all manner of herbs and pass by justice, 
and the love of God. This you ought to have done, without leaving the others undone. Woe to you, Pharisees, for you love the best sets in the synagogues and greetings in the marketplaces. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you are like graves which are not seen, and the men who walk over them are not aware of them. Then one of the lawyers answered and said to him, Teacher, by saying these things, you reproach us also. And he said, Woe to you also lawyers, for you load men with burdens, hard to bear, and you yourselves do not touch the burdens with one of your fingers. Woe to you, for you build the tombs of the prophets, and your fathers killed them. In fact, you bear witness that you approve the deeds of your fathers, for they indeed killed them, and you blind and you build their tombs. Therefore, the wisdom of God the wisdom of God also said, also said, I will send them prophets and apostles, and some of them they will kill and persecute. That the blood of all the prophets, which was shed from the foundation of the world, may be required of this generation, from the blood of Abel to the blood of Zechariah, who perished between the altar and the temple. Yes. I say to you, it shall be required of this generation. Woe to you, lawyers, for you have taken away the key of knowledge. You did not enter in yourselves, and those who were entering in you hindered. Mm. And as he said these things to them, the scribes and Pharisees began to assail him vehemently. And to cross examine him about many things, lying in wait for him and seeking to catch him in something he might say, that they might accuse him. Wow. Father God, thank you, Lord, for your word today. And I pray, Father God, that we may receive the revelation that comes from you, Father. Hallelujah. That Father God, even if we won't see a sign, we pray that we have to believe you because faith comes by hearing and hearing God's word. I pray, Father God, that help us to understand more as we continue to seek you, Father God. Hallelujah, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. My fellow God's beloved, I believe God is speaking to you again through this word. The greater than Juna and greater than Solomon is here. You know that he is the Lord Jesus Christ. And though the Holy Spirit is with us as Jesus, for Jesus Christ is sitting at the right hand of hand, the Father. And he is receiving our prayers. And uh, thank you, Lord Jesus, for dying on the cross for us. The Bible says that for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son. And those who ever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. John three sixteen, God loves you and me, for God so loved the world. In the world, it's you and me, young, old, any color of skin, everyone. And He is asking you to receive Him as our personal Lord and Savior. But God demonstrates His own love towards us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. We were still sinners, and yet Christ died for us, and we need a Savior. Romans chapter 5 verse 8, God demonstrates his own love towards us in that while we were yet sinners, he died for us. And Jesus is the only way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father but through Jesus alone. John 4 16, Jesus himself said that I am the way, ako ang daan, ako ang buhay, at ako ang katotohanan. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one, walang sino mang makapupunta sa Ama, sa God, kung hindi sa pamamagitan ni Jesus Christo. Hallelujah. And for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. For all, every one of us, lahat po tayo nagkasala. Every one of us have sinned. And so we need a Savior who is the Lord Jesus Christ, my fellow God's beloved. The Lord Jesus Christ is inviting you to come and receive Him as our personal Lord and Savior. 
We miss it this prayer. Hallelujah. From our hearts. Lord Jesus, I need you. Hallelujah. Thank you for dying on the cross for my sins. I open the door of my life and receive you as my Savior and Lord. I repent of my sins. Thank you for the forgiveness of my sins and giving me eternal life. Make me the kind of person you want me to be. Amen. My fellow God's beloved, if you have prayed that prayer from your heart, then Christ came into your life. Your sins were forgiven. You became a child of God, John 1, 12. You receive eternal life forever and ever in heaven. Hallelujah. John chapter 5, verse 23. You began the great adventure for which God created you. And continue to read God's word, his love letter to us. Amen. Amen. Have a wonderful day, mga manghal. God bless and take care. Let's read again tomorrow. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May His face shine upon you and be gracious to you. And always remember that Jesus loves you. Goodbye. God bless and take care. Let's read again tomorrow. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh, thank you, Lord. We love you, Jesus. Amen. Bye. Let's read again tomorrow.